Hey guys, this is Colby. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this lightsaber in Blender, as we are working on last time. Uh, this is the next step of making a Jedi character. And this will just be making the lightsaber, and you can be able to do this. Extract and extend. So let's get started. Right, so starting off, we're going to create a cylinder right down the middle of the world. So Shift-A, Mesh, create a cylinder, rotate it on its side, 90 degrees, so RX-90. Or you can go up here, press item, and just rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis. Scale down a bit. Move it like, to the side a bit. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you can make it wherever you want. Right, so go into edit mode on your cylinder. Grab this face here. Press E. Left click. Extrude. So now you want to scale down. So press S. And scale down. Drag your mouse inward, and this will give you a little circle. You can change the size of. So I'm going to make it about this size. Left click to finalize it. So let's select this inner circle here. Press E and Y. And extrude it this way. This will be the bottom of the handle. We're going to press E again. Left click, scale outward. Left click. And Y, and just kind of keep doing this over and over for the rest of the handle. Let's grab this face here, press E, left click, scale it downward with the S, and left click again. Press E, then Y, and just keep doing this over and over until you're happy with the overall detail of your blade, or the handle, I mean. So I'll see you here in a second after a little time lapse. All right, so now we can start modeling the actual lightsaber blade itself, the green parts. So let's grab this edge here, this face, press E to extrude, and Y. We're gonna drag it all the way out. This, you can make it as long as you want. Stop it right about here. And to round it off, we're going to press E, press Y, scale this face down a bit, and do the same. So press E, Y, scale it down, and just kind of round off the point. That's so now it looks a bit more round on the edge. It's good. So you can go back into object mode and select the whole thing. Right click and shade smooth. Select everything. Once we're back in edit mode, press shift in to recalculate the normals. And let's press control R. Move this edge down here. So now you can go ahead and sharpen these soft spots here on this mesh itself. So you can add control R and add some edge loops to sharpen everything up. Or you can just go back into object mode, add an edge mod or a modifier and add edge split. And that'll basically fix all your shading problems and make it a lot easier. We switch one click. So now we're basically done with the actual lightsaber itself with the modeling. So you can go into probably your modifier and we can add a shape key. It will allow us to basically retract the blade into the actual hilt itself and extend it back outward. So go into your shape key panel here, this little green icon, and let's add two shape keys. The first one is going to be called retracted. Actually, it's going to be called extended, my bet. And then the second one's going to be called retracted. So now go ahead and select your retracted button here. Go into edit mode on your mesh. And we're going to select the tip. So go into wireframe mode. And select the edge of the blade or the tip. Press C and then select all of its. What we're going to do is move this all the way inward to the actual handle itself. And then we're going to hide the whole blade. So press G and then Y. We can drag this green arrow all the way to here. And then we're going to press L on the actual blade itself. And we're going to move it back even further to this point here. So the actual edge here, all, all of it needs to be selected. And then move it back. And if you have a hole right here that's empty, you can press Shift Alt while you're in edge mode. And select this set of edges here. And press F to fill. And it will create this face right here. Shift Alt and then press F. 
to fill. So now if you go back into object mode and you press 1, drag this value all the way up to 1, it'll retract your blade all the way behind this little thing right here. And so now you actually have a fully extendable blade. So now we can go ahead and start adding the textures to the blade itself. So let's go back into edit mode and let's select the whole hilts. Let's press L on each piece. Since we added the edge split modifier, it kind of separated a lot of pieces. So we had to kind of go by and select each one by hand again. Or you can go into wireframe mode and select all these pieces here. Press C and just select all these sections here. There we go. You can add a new texture. I'm going to call this one hilts. And it's going to be like a grayish, like silver metallic color. So you can turn up the metallic and turn on the roughness a bit. Can't see the texture right now. That means you just need to go back into the look dev or material preview. And there you can start seeing this silver texture. Now let's add one more texture. This one's going to be called the lightsaber blade. Press new and blade. Go into edit mode again. Press L on the blade itself and the tip and assign. And we're going to change this principled BDSF to emission texture. Turn it to a green color or blue, whichever one you want. You can change it to a red if you're doing like a Sith or something. I'm going to be doing like a Jedi. You can turn it to strength. And if you want to see this bloom around the edge like this, go into your uh, preview settings are here and turn on blue and there you can start seeing the actual blade itself looking really nice so now we have a fully extendable lightsaber blade for animation it can be rigged later on and that's the end of this video uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment down below i'll try to answer them uh, but anyways next time we're going to be rigging this lightsaber to the character after we show how to create the actual armature for the mesh itself. But anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful, and I'll see you guys next time.